Alright, welcome back guys. You two people everywhere world. Do a little view of what I've done. So I got this motor mount here, engine mount. Wiring is all good, all done. As you can see wiring goes under the turbo, goes down here, ground attaches there, wiring. I think this is for air conditioning. This is for airflow sensor maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. But I know, I'm pretty sure this is for air conditioning. A ground for somewhere over on the fuse block, whatever. Get this line, you got this coolant hose that goes to the turbo, oil feed line that goes to the uh, housing here. Anyway, and you got the return line, I believe. This high pressure is return. And then this is a return too, I believe. So anyway, it's got new gaskets. Everything's everything's new. New gasket for this. Crush washers, washers, whatever you want to call them, banjo washers. Um, yeah. So basically, this engine is pretty much ready to go. Uh, minus, you know, this is a heater glow or a block heater thing so you just need your own little chingadera um, needs a thermostat and I need a one inch need a one inch socket one inch really really deep socket to tighten this in here or I can take the whole fuel rail off and tighten it if I can't find a socket this is still loose because I got the motor attached in here um this computer block thing cp3 pump i believe all these wiring goes somewhere might go into here to the fuel the fuel bowl so this might be your water fuel separator one this might be I don't know, something else i don't know what it is i'll figure it out once i get all this attached um Flex plate is on with a little ring, so all the bolts are all cleaned, cleaned up. Wire wire wheeled, I guess you can call it. I did figure out what this was for. This goes back here. I, I'm assuming to protect the fuel lines in event of an accident, because it's so close to the cab of the vehicle that if something happens, it protects the fuel lines. Uh, and then this way it doesn't leak or whatever happens and doesn't explode. These are for something else. These might actually be for the fuel thing. I don't know. I don't really remember. It smells like diesel. So those might actually go to the fuel thing. The fuel filter housing. As you can see I got the turbo. Like I say, I got the turbo on. Spins nice and free. There's no no play. A um, little bit of side to side play, but nothing nothing major. Um, but yeah. So what I'm gonna do now, um, which will be probably next video, is I'm gonna build a cart. So I got this steel out here. So it's going to be 30 inches. So I'll get four pieces of 30 inches out of this. Um, the motor width is like from from this edge to this edge. I think it's like 26 inches. So I want to go a little wider, obviously. So I'll go two inches wider on either end. So 30 inches, and then um, from oil pan. Basically from uh, the tensioner from the pulleys to the back of this oil pan is 30 inches or maybe 28 inches. I think it's 30 inches. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to do 30 by 30. Uh, I'll try to find some wheels at the swap meet. I'm not going to use those wheels on these bottom of these Harbor Freight things. The motor is way too heavy for, for that. Um, I might go to Harbor Freight and get some wheels. 
um, but if I do get the wheels, they're going to be the, the big stout wheels. Um, because I use the wheels on this welding cart from these little things. That welding cart's a nightmare to push around. But anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut all this down. And, uh, yeah, cut it all down to what I need. Use some of my magnets, maybe to hold it square. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, try to make it square. I don't know if I'll TIG weld them. Maybe I'll TIG weld it. I don't know yet. Or I might just MIG weld it. Anyway, you guys will have to wait to see that in the next video. So, alright guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Let me know if you guys have any questions, any comments, anything about the motor, what you guys want to know. Um, everything has been cleaned, scrubbed, uh, what wasn't done at the machine shop. Um, yeah, it's all been cleaned and dipped, whatever you want to call it, and scrubbed with Scotch Brite and painted. Um, these are still loose here too by the way um because i can't remember if this one goes there or this one goes there i'll have to look at my the truck in the back the fourth gen so anyways guys that's gonna be it thanks for watching uh subscribe check out my uh other videos go to my playlist do what you guys do thanks for watching later